Hello class. Today we're going to be doing 7.3 triangles. If you need, go ahead and get your packet and pencil out and pause the video while you do that. So hopefully you're on turn to 7.3 and we'll go ahead and begin. Our essential question today will be How do I classify triangles and how do I use the triangle sum theorem? We'll first begin by classifying triangles. There's two ways to classify triangles. We can either classify them by angle or by sides. So we'll talk about all the ways to classify them by angle. And the way we can classify them by angles first by the acute angle, which is where All the angles in the triangle are less than 90 degrees. And it's very important that all of them are less than 90 degrees. We also have the obtuse triangle where only one angle in the triangle is greater than 90 degrees and there will only be one angle and then we have a right triangle where exactly one angle in the triangle is equal to 90 degrees. So we have acute triangles where all the angles are less than 90 degrees, an obtuse triangle where only one angle in the triangle is greater than 90 degrees, and a right triangle where exactly one angle in the triangle is equal to 90 degrees. We can also classify triangles by their sides. And to do this, we'll look at just their side lengths. So in a scaling triangle, all the side lengths of the triangle are different. And this is actually true for their angles as well. So if all the side lengths or angles of the triangle are different, then it's a scaling triangle. In an isosceles triangle is where two or more side lengths and angles are the same or equal. And then we can have an equilateral triangle where all three of the side lengths and angles are equal. So something I want to point out is the fact that if a triangle is equilateral, 
it is also isosceles. So we'll see that here in a second. So when I look at um, number one in our examples, we're looking at the three angles, and they're all less than 90. So I know this is an acute triangle. And since they're all different in size, all different values, it's also scalene. Now when we look at number two, I can see that they're all less than 90. So if they're all less than 90, what's that going to be? An acute triangle. And if they're all equal, all of them are equal, it is equilateral. And it's isosceles. Now something you might notice is these little marks in the side. What these do is these also tell me that these sides are equal in length. So anytime you have a mark through the side, you know that they're equal. So how many marks do we see? Three marks, meaning all three sides are equal. And we'll need that information to get through number three. So when I look at number three, it has a angle greater than 130 degrees. So that is obtuse. And I have two marks. And these marks are telling me that these sides are equal. So I have two equal sides. And we have two or more equal sides. We know it's an isosceles. And since there are only two, it's only isosceles. If we had all three sides equal, then it would be equilateral. But for this one, we only have two sides, so it is isosceles. In our next triangle, this angle happens to equal 90 degrees. So we know it's a right triangle. And when it's a right triangle, this angle is 90 degrees. So all my angles are different, so it's right and scalene. Now you might wonder, how did I know that this was a right angle? Well, that leads us into our triangle sum theorem, where if I add up all three of the angles, it will equal 180 degrees. So the way I can find out that this is 90 is I start with my 180 degrees, and then I'll subtract the two angles that are given. So if I subtract 68, we'll borrow 2, we get 112. So we subtracted the 68. Now I'll subtract the 22. 2 minus 2 is 0. We'll borrow. Then 11 minus 2 is 9. And the result is 90, which is my leftover angle. So go ahead and flip to the back of this page. And we'll see the triangle sum theorem. And what the triangle sum theorem states is that the three angles of a triangle, when added together, will equal 180 degrees. So <clears throat> we want to do this algebraically so we can really start getting better at solving. And the way we're going to do that is we will add all three together. And I just when I say add, I mean just write it out. So we're going to write x plus 65 plus 76 equals 180. Now I'll combine my like terms. And we have x plus 141 equals 180. Now to solve for x, I'll want to get rid of my constant first. So I'll subtract 141 from both sides. And we'll get 
x equals 39. So we found that x is equal to 39 degrees. Now we can do the same thing for number 6. I'll add all three up together. So I have x plus x plus 120 is equal to 180. We'll combine like terms. x plus x, if I have one x and I add to it another x, I'll have two x's. There's no like term for the 120, so we have plus 120 equals 180. Now when I'm solving, I have two numbers I need to get rid of, the 2 or the 120. Well, which number do we get rid of first? We'll get rid of our constant, the 120, so I'll subtract 120 from both sides. These cancel, and I have 2x equals 180 minus 120 is 60. Now to get rid of my coefficient, I will divide both sides by 2, and x will equal 60 divided by 2 is 30. So now I have this is equal to 30 degrees, and this angle is equal to 30 degrees. Now if you would, please go ahead and try number 7. Pause the video, and you can try number 7 on your own. And then when you're done, you can unpause the video, and we'll move forward. You can pause the video now. Okay, so hopefully you gave this number 7 a try on your own. Let's go ahead and do it together. When we have this box, we know that's a 90 degree angle. So we'll add all three together. I have 2x plus x plus 90 equals 180. We'll combine our like terms. 2x plus x is 3x plus 90 equals 180. Now which number shall we get rid of first? The 3 or the 90? We get rid of our, our constants first, so I'll subtract 90 from both sides. Those cancel and I have 3x is equal to 90. Now to get rid of my coefficient, we'll divide both sides by 3. The 3's cancel and we have x is equal to 30. Now, this angle is x, so this angle is 30. This angle is 2x. Remember, when we have a, two, a number right next to our variable, that's multiplication. So I'm going to go 2 times 30 equals 60. So this angle is equal to 60 degrees. And if we add these all up, it makes sense. I have 90 plus 30 is 120, and 120 plus 60 is 180. And that's the triangle sum theorem. So that's it for today's lesson. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.